a Nigerian court on Thursday ordered the immediate release of a human held in detention since February. Accused of being a member of a banned separatist organization, her lawyer said. The court in Abuja ruled that the police had illegally detained Ngozi Umadi and ordered it to pay her damages of 50 million naira, which is in approximate, when approximated, $121,500. Lawyer Ejo for Ifani said, Nigerian authorities routinely detain people for months or years without charge. Umadi was accused of being a member of the indigenous people of Biafra, which campaigns for a southern eastern region to secede. Nigerian authorities blame it for attacks on police stations and other targets, which have been cracking down on the group, which denies wrongdoing. IPOP members and supporters accuse authorities of arbitrary killings and detention in the southeast, which they deny. Ifani also represents IBOP detained leader Namdi Kano, who is facing trial for treason. Kano disappeared from Nigeria while on bail in 2017 after spending two years in jail. The, author the Nigerian authorities announced in June that he had been captured abroad and brought back for his trial to resume without explaining the circumstances. Kano's family and lawyers have alleged that he was legal illegally transferred from Kenya to Nigeria. Kenya has denied involvement. Kano's detention and the fact that the authority failed to produce him in court at the last hearing in July have fought tension in the southeast, where a series of mass sit-at-home protests have taken place in solidarity with him. Amnesty International said in August that Nigerian security forces had killed at least 115 people in the southeast this year and arbitrarily arrested or tortured scores of others. The authorities made no comment on the findings. The southeast homelands of the Igbo ethnic group attempted to succeed in 1967 under the name Republic of Biafra, triggering a three-year civil war in which more than a million people died mostly of starvation. This is rather sad. This is rather, rather sad that one will be detained or will remain in detention without being charged, without facing the courts, without being tried. And at the end of the day, the person will spend months behind bars. This is rather unfair. This is this is this is this is not this is not this is highly this is the injustice at the speak. This is the highest of injustice in this our country. How will you how will you how will you arrest someone even so even without any court without any warrant court, arrest warrant from the court? And you just take the person and put the person behind bars, separating the person from his or her family. This is wrong. This is, this is wrong. This is the marginalization we are talking about. We are in a dem democratic system of government, and one is allowed to express his or her views without a fear of what will happen. And what happens after one expresses his freedom of speech or freedom of will to do what he or, he or she is legally supposed to do? This is, this is unfair. This is the height of injustice. This is the height of injustice. Okay. Listening to listening to the court now, asking them to pay this particular woman compensation for for damages. I just hope they are going to comply because Nigerian governments are not are not known to comply to laws given to them. Are you sure the government will pay them? Exactly my point. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. They, uh, they are not known to obey court orders. They are not even known for allowing the rule of law. They are not. This is a democratic system of government. Yet, the law is not supreme and there is no supremacy of the law anywhere. There's nothing like supremacy of the law in our country. The spirits of the Biafrans are unstoppable.
She is a misplaced person. I don't think so. She's not. Pharaoh of Nigeria, let my people go. Let Biafra go. Good. Maybe after paying all the damages caused by greed, corruption, and wickedness, nothing will remain to fall back to. Then we'll continue borrowing on revised hardship and backwardness. God have mercy on us on this country. This would have been avoided. This would have been avoided. One is not supposed to be kept behind bars for even for 48 hours without being tried. It is legally wrong. It is not the law. The law frowns at it. And here in Nigeria, we keep hearing we keep hearing things like this over and over again. How somebody will will, will, will just be declared wanted. Not without the court, just the, the, the security agencies will declare the person wanted. And before you know it, the, an attack is made on the person's home as if the person is a criminal. The person is attacked, the person is, 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 is forced to go into hiding. And you keep asking yourself, what is my crime? No crime has been, no crime has, this person has not been said he or she is guilty of whatever he or, he or she has even been accused of. Just like that, for no just reason, they barge into you, infringe your human rights, and they want us to keep, to keep quiet. That's the most amazing thing. How do you, after you offend a human being, you infringe on the person's human rights, and you expect the person to swallow it up? This will only make the person, if the, if the person is part of a group that's agitating, the agitation will even grow stronger. It will grow more. We want everything to calm down, but we are not ready to make the environment calm so that these agitations will calm down. No. Okay, the court is issuing the sum of 50 million naira to be paid to this woman. And this is from a Nigeria that has been borrowing. In short, we, are, we, have, broken, we, are, we have broken the records of borrowing since the past day, how many years? We have been borrowing, and yes, this money now that would have been avoided, that would have been sitting in the in the in the treasury of Nigeria, used for something better. Now, it's been it, the court is issuing it that it should be paid to somebody. This is an avoidable crime, as in an avoidable consequence. This is so unfair and, in, and unjust. And we keep saying, why are these people agitating? Why are they agitating? This is the marginalization we are talking about. I just hope everything falls back into place for this particular woman. And I even thank God she has been, I hope she has been released and have rejoined to her family. I wouldn't even know whether they even knows, know that she, she has been in detention all this while. That would be all the news for today. Thank you all for tuning in and staying with us. Till I come away next time, enjoy the rest of your day.